Hey, how's it going? I'm Ira Golden and welcome to my vlog. All right, okay, so this one is kind of a little bit more of an experiment in terms of camera. <laughs> As you can see, the camera is a lot further back than it would be or than it has been in the past. Um, I want to kind of see what the sound does with that information. Um, I know I can be quite quiet sometimes even when it's like really close to me. Um, so I'm not sure if this will work particularly well or how well it will work if it, if it does work. Um, uh, but kind of part of the reason that I wanted to sort of push the camera back a little bit is so that you guys can see a little bit more of what I'm doing with the set. <laughs> Um, namely, as you can see, I've now added a non-binary flag to my couch. Um, it looks really good. That's the thing that's kind of annoying me is when it's sort of close in with some sort of sap in front of it. It's really hard to actually see that it's there and to sort of recognise what's going on with it. So I kind of just wanted to sort of push things back a little bit see how well that kind of works as a setup, um, see how it kind of how it kind of works in terms of, of sound quality, in terms of image quality. I mean I can already see there's a lot of light coming in through there, so it might be that I have to pull the blind down in the kitchen and so that the um, but yeah, no, it's, it's very much a case of, well, you know what, I do have like this whole kind of step thing going on, so probably would be a good idea to actually utilise it a little bit more um, and actually not so much draw attention to it as, you know, acknowledge the fact that it is a complete set, as it were. So, yeah, um... Hopefully, fingers crossed, this will work out okay. Um, it also gives me a chance to sort of like properly show off some of my new style and some of the, the new outfits I'm kind of uh, wearing. In, I mean, um, obviously, you guys get a lot of like the new tops and the new t shirts and stuff like that. I mean, I'm still using some of some of like, I haven't gotten rid of like, like I said before, I didn't get rid of everything that I used to own. I mean, um, I think. I've worn this um, in some of my older videos, I don't actually remember, it's been actually probably been a long while since I've actually worn this one, I think I didn't wear it at all last summer, I think I was very much in the same like two or three tops last summer, um, and this, this is definitely amongst the stuff that I didn't pick for myself, but it is amongst stuff which I've kind of been like, yeah, okay, that can sort of hang around, um, in fact I've got like a pile of t-shirts um still in the bedroom which i'm like i don't know if i want to get rid of these or not um and like my my debate with them very much is they don't really fit with how i want to look i um they they are like shorter uh, they are tighter um and more sort of figure hugging and i've never really been comfortable with that um but at the same time um i do have sort of fond memories wearing a lot of these things and some of them are kind of on the smarter side as well which kind of makes me debate whether or not it's a good idea to just sort of get rid of them when I don't necessarily have that much in the way of smart clothing right now, um, so I'm having a like, really hard time sort of trying to decide what to do with these tops that don't really fit with how I'm comfortable looking, but because I've had them for a long time and I have worn them and, and stuff like that, it's, it's, it's very much that kind of, kind of debate. Um, there was definitely one top which 
I'm not necessarily overly comfortable with how it fits and how it looks when it's on, but I have decided to hold on to that top um, just because it's a great one for when it's really, really hot. And that's literally been the only reason. Like um, most of the other ones that I've kind of held on to have either been more androgynous um, or not as tight. Um, or not as necessarily um, revealing as this particular one, but this particular one is very much, if it's like really, really hot in the middle of summer, I want that. <laughs> like, for no other reason than just that reason. And even then, I'm kind of a little bit like, oh, I may eventually decide that, you know what, I, I'm not actually wearing it, so I am actually going to get rid of it. Um, but yeah, so, yeah, it, it part of the reason this this sort of angle and part of the reason this sort of distance kind of makes sense a little bit is it does give more of my personal aesthetic off um i have gone not necessarily like th there's a little bit of variety now in the kind of the way that i look um i'm not necessarily wearing like the harem stuff quite as much as i was previously because i decided that the child was going to sort of suit me better um for, for a lot of things, but not necessarily for everything. Um, yeah, I, I'm very much dressing based on mood a lot at the moment, or based on what I know I've got coming up. Um, like I know I'm seeing family this particular weekend, um, so I know which outfits I want to be wearing when I see them, which is part of the reason why I'm wearing this top now, because it's a lot of things that I know I definitely don't want to be wearing next week. And at this point in time, I don't know when I'm going to be doing my main wash. Um, so in order to avoid not being able to wear the stuff that I actually want to be wearing, I'm wearing stuff that I know that I don't want to be wearing during that period of time. And this is one of those things which is kind of like, yeah, it's a really nice top. But I don't, it's not one of the outfits that I'm planning to wear um, definitely next weekend and into the early part of next week. And then... From there on, I'm probably going to want a little bit less about it anyway. Um, likewise, these trousers. And part of the reason I kind of stopped wearing the Harian ones quite so much is they do keep um, ripping in the seams because of how, you know, they've not necessarily been made the best. Um, I have sort of sewn them up a couple of times. Um, they do keep getting like little splits and tears. Um, so that's part of the reason why I've, I've sort of moved away from them. I, do you really like the aesthetic though? So, <laughs> a little bit of a hard one. Um, I might need to um, might need to sort of go out and, and shop properly for, for sort of hiring style trousers rather than sort of doing it um, by Amazon because you can't always really guarantee the quality when it comes to clothing. Um, and but, I mean, they, they've done fairly well. It's just that, you know, they're not as hard wearing as I would like. Especially as I'm someone who does sort of wear clothes um, <laughs> and will sort of like continuously like wear the same sort of things um, until they're like thread. So, you know, I, I definitely want um, my trousers in particular to be a bit harder wearing. So that's part of the reason why I've kind of moved towards um, some of the other stuff and start wearing some of my joggers, uh, my old joggers again. Um, just because they're, I know they're hard wearing because I've had them for a while. Um, so yeah, that's yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this has ended up being a sort of rambly um, kind of one. Um, it's not necessarily a bad thing, obviously, with everything that that happened during June. Um, there was a lot of, of, of heaviness during June, a lot of emotional stuff during June. Um, so having something that's a little less um, heavy, as it were, and a little bit more kind of, okay, there's not really much of a point to this one. It's sort of rambly, it's sort of a little bit all over the place, but you know what? Sometimes that's just what you need. Sometimes that's just what's gonna work. Um, so it's okay if this one doesn't really have much of a point to it and it's just a little bit rambly and babbly and kind of the tester for 
the camera distance, or the camera being at this distance, and showing off a bit more of the set, and showing off a bit more of me. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to leave this one here. Um, I hope you found it sort of interesting. Um, I hope you're looking forward to seeing what I will be talking about next time, and I will see you next time. See ya. <laughs> If you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others, and if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya!